Big Z Reviews. To Leslie is a really small indie film that has come to attention of the world because of all the shenanigans that went through to get the lead actress, uh, Andrea Riseborough, into the, um, the Best Actress nomination for the Oscars through possibly cheating. And, and it's, you know, I, I saw this, all the stuff, and I was like, I thought I might as well check out the movie. And it's fine, I guess. It's my life. I might look stupid to you. You don't. Yeah, well, I ain't one for letting people get over on Hey! Hey! I'm not gonna do this again. So this was directed by Michael Morris and is written by Ryan Binocco and they say it was based on a true story. And again, it, it stars Andrea Riseborough as uh, Leslie and uh, there's um, Allison Janney and Stephen Root uh, along with Mark Marin and uh, Andre Royo. And like, this is just, it's kind of been done so much. But it's funny that, like, it's, it's, I feel like they don't go far enough with the the bottom that she hits. Because, like, Leslie, she, like, years ago, she won the small lottery, and then she wasted it all, and she's now, like, an alcoholic, and, you know, that becomes homeless. And uh, this that's just her story. And you keep watching, like, she, like, she goes to live with her son... And, like, I think it's James La uh, Landry Herbert as Pete. And, um, or maybe Owen Teague as James. I'm not sure. They both kind of look slightly alike. But, um, they, like, he, he goes to live with him. Like, so he's, like, and, the, and, you know, that, I guess that she's been out of his life for, like, six years. And he's, like, still, like, in his early, early 20s. And, uh, you know, he, she tells him that, you know, he's, uh, she's clean, and she just needs to get back on her feet. And then she immediately starts drinking and steals money from his roommate. And, like, he kicks her out to her, like, her aunt, I think, or something like that. That kind of raised the son. And, like, they, she, she goes and immediately goes to a bar, gets drunk, and they kick her out. And then she's homeless again. And it's like, it's not, what she does is bad. Okay, she does bad things. Like it's not good to, to steal from your son's roommate or to get drunk all the time, but she doesn't do anything that bad. Like she's not like a cokehead. She's not addicted to heroin. She's not like o overdosing on on opioids. She's not like killing people or like she's not like she just gets drunk. Like, even when she gets drunk, like you see her. Getting drunk and then hitting on the men. And all the men are like, Ugh, you're too dirty for me. You know, it's like, it, it, that's just, that's all that happens. And they keep waiting for a hit, hit bottom. And like, her bottom is just that she's a homeless drunk. Like, and, it, and that's not, that's not good. But like, she never does anything that bad. <laughs> you know? And then like, Mark Maron kind of takes pity on her. And like, kind of like, um, hires her to be like a cleaner at their at their hotel, and like that, and that's like the bulk of the movie. Then is like her fighting with her addiction to alcohol, and then her her beating it, and uh, like becoming a better uh, cleaner, and then and then you know trying to have a dream of opening a, opening a, a diner is the climax of the film. And, you know, as that, it's fine. It's a redemption story. And, you know, it's her acting is fine. But it's not good. It's not, like, nothing amazing. Andrew Riseborough as Leslie is just fine. Like, this whole movie is fine. But, you know, the fact that she took nominations from two black women that gave amazing performances in Till and the Woman King. And, like, they, in fact, they, like... Like, she... Basically, all of her white friends 
told all of her other white friends to vote for her because oh those other two they're locked they're locked in they're definitely gonna win you don't need to vote you need to nominate them you need to nominate um my friend andrea riseborough and like i can't believe it. if i was her how would you accept the nomination and go to the oscars like because i mean they're they have to make jokes about it they have to make fun of her you know, like horribly because like what she did was horrible. Even the the thing is the reason they like the call came out that they're not um, getting rid of her nomination because technically she didn't do the illegal things. But sounds like some of the people that wrote emails telling all their friends to to not vote for the black woman, uh, they 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 may lose their their membership for a year or something like that. You know, they not not full time membership like Will Smith for slapping a guy, but it's still pretty bad. But you know, it's it's just the whole shenanigans of it for a film that made like nothing in the box office. And I, but the thing is, I mean, maybe they're right to do it because I never even heard of this film if it wouldn't be for this for the nomination. But it's like it's it's weird that it feels like a movie's like cheating because it's it's not bad, but it's not good. And I, I think the thing that, like, the people in her, and, like, Alice and Janie uh, is such a uh, bitch to her. I see you next Tuesday to her. And, like, see, like, some of the bits that, you know, that she was the surrogate mom for her son. But, like, you never see what she does bad in, like, in the film. Like, the worst thing she done, she did was to leave her son, you know? But, like, they, like that's, like, it's such a, a weak redemption arc, even. It's just a fine film. Like, it's not bad, but I'll, I'll, I won't remember it, you know, uh, long after I, I um, finish editing this review. You know, it's just, it's mediocre. You know, it's a 7 out of 10. Six, I wouldn't recommend it, but it is going to be interesting to see how they handle her at the Oscars. But uh, thanks for watching. If you want to see more of me, you can subscribe down below. Thanks.